Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dr. Guy, and what I want to talk about is a topic that was requested to me from a young lady on Instagram. She wanted me to talk about friends with benefits, and her name is good1z underscore go. Go check her out, um, and I want to thank her for uh, suggesting this topic. And so, let's talk about friends with benefits. I want to address four different things that comes with this. First is that we call it friends, friends with benefits. Let's hit it where, let, let's just get to the bottom of it. You're not friends most of the time that you're dealing with a person, you're having sex with that person. You are not friends. A lot of times you will maybe associate, sometimes you're strangers. You may know their first name, but you're nine times out of ten, you don't even know their last name. You're just having sex with this person because the sex is available. You're having sex with them, no quality time. And so it's not really a friendship because a friend would go to bat for another person. A friend would fight for another person. I'm pretty sure in most of these situations, the person you're sleeping with, the friend with benefits, they won't fight for you. Uh, your friend will give you their last dollar whenever that's the last thing they have. And honestly, in many of these situations, the person wouldn't even give you a dollar if they had $100. And so the truth is, we call it friends, um, but I think we do that because we try to minimize what it really is, or we try to not minimize, we try to make it better than what it really is. You're not friends, you're strangers, associates, uh, acquaintances, something, but it's not a friendship. Um, so the second thing I want to talk about is that we say friends friends with benefits. And benefits insinuates that it's more than just one benefit when the truth is that the only thing that connects the two people usually is the sex. And so we say benefits, let's say what it is. You are associates with a benefit. Okay, so if we strip it down to what it really is, you're an associate with a benefit because all you do is have sex. There's no quality time that's associated, so that's not a benefit. Um, you don't have the benefit of having a title. That's not a benefit. And so what are the other benefits of the situation? Now, in some situations, you may have somebody who spend a little money on a person, but for the most part, sex is the only thing. So the third thing I want to talk about is the fact that one person usually wants more than the other person. And so you have one person who really wants it to be more, try to grow into a relationship, get to know the person more, which that's kind of crazy. You're having sex, but you're still trying to get to know the other person. That's a little awkward. But the reality is that one person wants it to be more, but they can't get more, so they accept what they can get, which is this associate with a benefit situation. And so they accept sex because that's the only way they can feel close to the other person with the hope that the other person will eventually come around and wants it to be more. But the truth is that most of the time, it ends up being just an associate with a benefit situation and the other person like, all I want is sex and that's all you're going to get. And then the final thing is that the person who wants it to be more is usually a placeholder. And when I say placeholder, you usually just serve it in this capacity until the other person finds who they really want to be with. And at the end of the day, you're hurt because, see, they're going to get to know that other person and grow a relationship with the other person and then they're going to kick you, the associate, because you're not really a friend, so you're not going to play a role in their life after they cut it off. And so you're going to be that associate who got kicked to the curb, and now they with this person who they really want to be with. And so what I'm trying to say is we got to quit um, glamorizing this whole friend with benefits situation and trying to make it be more than what it really is because somebody's getting hurt at the end of the day. And if you want a relationship, seek a relationship and don't settle for these associate with a benefit situation, okay? And so I hope that this video, you know, helped you. I hope that it hits home. I hope that you're taking and process. That's it. Check me out at relationshipedu.com. Check me out on Instagram. I'm always posted on Instagram at Mr. Right Verse Wrong. God bless all of you and have a wonderful day.